Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Have you ever heard of the story of the prodigal son? Um, maybe we have been there in our own lives, you know. Uh, this wealthy man has two sons, and his youngest son says, Hey, Dad, I want all my inheritance now. At that point in time in that culture, by him saying that, he was basically saying to his father, I wish you were dead. I don't want anything to do with you. Give me what's mine. And he says, okay, and he gives his son the inheritance, and the kid goes, right? And he's probably in his early 20s, and he's living up, you know, woo, he's living it up, right? And he goes to a foreign land, he spends all his money on parties and all kinds of happening stuff, right, when you're that age. And suddenly, he starts to run out of money, and all, this, all those friends that were hanging out with him in the parties are now gone, and a famine hits. And he has to go and figure out where he's going to get food from because he has no money. And he decides he's better off than starving. He's going to work for this pig farmer. And he starts to eat the pig's food. By the way, it's filthy, right? And it's against their religious customs and everything. And he's doing all this horrible stuff. And he says, you know what? My dad's servants, well, they're better off than I am right now. So he decides that he's going to go home. And on the way home, he's walking and walking. And all of a sudden, he sees off in the distance, this something's coming towards him. It's his dad. His dad sees him coming, and his dad is this regal royal man who is respected and adored by the people. And in those days, they would lift their robes and walk, right? And the tassels on the bottom of the robe would swing back and forth, and people would look at him and say, oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's awesome. We love this guy. He's running. He picks his robe up, and he's running down the road to his son, right? He's not waiting for his son to come back to him. He's running to him, and he embraces him and says, oh my gosh, it's so great to see you. We're so happy to have you back. And the kid's like, man, dad, I don't even deserve anything. Just let me be one of your hired hands. I'll go work in the fields. And he's like, are you kidding me? You're my son. And he puts a robe on him and puts rings on his fingers. And, you know, he gets him some new sandals because he's got pig slop all over the other ones, right? And he throws a great party for his son. That's how God sees us, Right? We mess it up. We, we've all blown it at some point. We've all gone down a bad road and we've done some stupid things and some of us have even done horrible things in our lives. But if we turn around and come back to the God who has created us in his own image, who loves us with a never-ending love, well, he is just waiting for us to turn back around and come back to him. And when we do, he's waiting for us. And he sees us coming and he comes rushing up to us. And he embraces us and tells us how much he loves us. And welcomes them back into the kingdom. May we feel God's love. May we feel that we've never gone too far to turn back around. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us. Until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.